This is a quick tutorial on taking quizzes through Canvas. Uh, normally you would have an announcement or you'd have a direct link to a quiz, but for this instance here, we can go over in our tabs over here and select quizzes to find the quiz that we want. For this case, we're gonna select this one here. So at the top, you'll have a title for your quiz. It'll see, it will show you a due date, point value, number of questions, time limit if there is one yes we can add a time limit to your quiz and allowed attempts so we might give you one attempt two attempts or unlimited attempts your instructions right here take this quiz in this quiz you'll get to learn more about your teacher and how canvas quizzes work it's okay to get some or even all of the questions wrong this one's just for fun so we have um, our little tutorial that will be there and then this take quiz so we're going to select take the quiz the next screen, you'll see your instructions again. Over here on the side, you'll see your list of questions. And you have this question mark next to each one, meaning that you have not answered it. If you like to keep track of your time, there's a little timer over here for your quizzes. So in this case, I have one question showing at a time instead of you seeing all of the questions at once. In this uh, right here, you have your question number your actual question and your answer choices. And I'm gonna go over a few types of questions that you might see. Up here also is a bookmark or a marker tool if you wanna go back and review a question or answer a question. So here, what is your teacher's favorite color? I'm just going to select some of these at random so you can see that was a quick multiple choice. Here's another multiple choice question. What is your teacher's favorite candy? I'm unsure of that, so I'm gonna select that bookmark right there, and I'm gonna come back to it in a little bit. Question number three, this is a different type. This is fill in the blank. How many years has your teacher been teaching? I'm pretty old, so I'm gonna say I've been teaching 75 years. Not true. Going on to the next question type, another multiple choice. Clicking next. Uh, let's see, question five, my teacher would rather live in the mountains than the beach, true or false? That's a true or false question, pretty easy, but I'm unsure, so I'm gonna come back to that. Question number six, I'm gonna scroll. Does your teacher have children? Yes or no, selecting an answer. Continuing on, number seven, now this one's a little different. Which of the following kinds of pets does your teacher have? Select all that apply. So you can select as many or as little as you want. And I'm going to select one here and click next. Question number eight, matching. This one's kind of a fun one here. Match the names of the animal or person. Pick the name you think goes correctly with each one. Cat's name, father's name, and dog's name. We're going to select next after we have that answered. Question number nine, where did your teacher or what did they want to be when they grew up? Continue to click next after we choose our answers. Here's the last question here. What level did your teacher reach in Taekwondo? We're gonna select an answer and submit the quiz. When we click submit the quiz, you see this little pop-up, which is nice. You have two unanswered questions. See the right sidebar for details. Submit anyway? No, we don't wanna submit it anyway. We're gonna go back to the top and see, oh yeah, we've, we bookmarked these. So let's go back to question two, which we bookmarked. What is your teacher's favorite candy? Uh, we'll go ahead and select one and then unselect the bookmark. We'll click next. It's gonna run us through the different questions. So we wanna go back up here to the other one we didn't answer, question number five. Has a little marker next to it. My teacher would rather live in the mountains than the beach. Um, we're gonna select an answer and don't forget unselect your little marker there. So now we can go back up here. We see that we have check marks near all the questions. So we're gonna go down to the bottom and hit submit quiz. Once we click submit quiz, it gives us um, our attempt history up here. It took us three minutes to answer the quiz. 2.33 out of 10 questions. So here for an example, question number one, what's your teacher's favorite color? It's gonna give us our answer and it's gonna show us it's wrong and then it's gonna show us the correct answer. So you can go through with each of the questions and see what you got right, what you got wrong. And that is a basic tutorial of taking a quiz. If you ever have any questions while taking a quiz, please ask your teacher. They'll be more than happy to help 
uh, with taking a quiz, especially since Canvas is new to all of us. It'll be fun. It'll be great.